in this patch of native scrub are some of our most beautiful living treasures. These little jeweled geckos are almost as closely guarded as if they were our very own crown jewels. Let's find out what's so striking about these ancient lizards. Loudy, loudy, can I get a piece of your time? So that we can go up into the corner of your mind. Demonstrations at times are all that I have. For generations of leaders are telling you lies. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong, my This world that we live in. What's in me wrong? Tell them about the world that we live in. What's wrong, my This world that we live in. What's in me wrong? I've always been keen on lizards in my life since I was a child and on our dairy farm we had these jeweled geckos as well and as a child I used to take all the visitors out to a bush that was in our garden that always had jeweled geckos on it and uh, show them. Just in the last 20 years I um, became more aware of that they're actually declining everywhere uh, so started to take a bit more interest in their welfare. So it was a matter of uh, moving some of these little guys out of harm's way uh, when we had to control a little bit of scrub and put them into one of the areas that we've put aside for conservation. All the females are green. Um, but the markings do vary. Um, this one here has got the stripes, but it's still got the diamonds on the stripes. Some of them have very fine stripes with the more definite diamonds along the stripes, sort of beaded marking, and some of them just have the diamonds. Some of the diamonds are white, some are vibrant yellow. Some of them are just downright gaudy <laughs> in colour. And you think, well, what possible use of, is that in camouflage? It just seems to me it's the um, creator god, god mad with a paintbrush. <laughs> they are beautiful. Uh, the males are more blacks and browns, and, uh, but they can be just as beautiful. I've seen a magnificent black one, for instance, with beautiful green markings. What do they eat out here? Well, it's mostly insects, but um, they rather like the composite berries as well, so uh, yeah, they be quite happy to eat a few berries. What are some ways that people could encourage lizards back into their gardens? Oh, get rid of your moggy. <laughs> Cats are a terrible danger. Rats and mice too are a real problem. And the humble hedgehog will also do its share of damage. So habitat and try and keep down on the predators. So planting little native tangly things? Yes, that would be just great. Yep. I like to think that my grandchildren can still walk around these hills and occasionally be delighted with the sight of one of these out on the bushes sunning itself uh, during the day. Jewel geckos certainly are striking little characters, a true living taonga, but their precious nature can sometimes threaten their survival. However, these guys are also the masters of disguise and their clever camouflage means they'll be swinging through the scrub for many generations to come. See you later, little girl.